Hello, everybody. Is the site of now we have a 75 oh. years old male patient complaining of dysphagia <laughs> to both salts and fluids Sorry. since one year with repeated attacks of vomiting. Barium swallow revealed dorsal, repeated dorsal esophageal stricture lesion with mucosal destruction and shouldering with dilatation of the proximal esophagus. CT chest revealed concentric circumferential mural thickening of the esophagus encroaching on the lumen and extending from the carina to the gastroesophageal junction. And it is inseparable is from the carina and the aorta. This is a picture. This, you see this yep. video clip? This video clip? Oh. We are with them. Okay. Hello. Hello, Dr. Mu'taz. Narrowing by an irregular mass, mostly cancer esophagus with failure of scope passage. Biopsies taken from the lesion reveal poorly differentiated grade 3 squamous cell carcinoma with invasion of the muscle layer. Ultrasound revealed right renal hydronephrosis. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Well, good afternoon. And thank you for that introduction. This uh, patient has a typical presentation with an advanced squamous cell carcinoma of the esophagus. And when we first looked down, the patient had evidence of, of complete obstruction. And you can see a very necrotic tumor here. Uh, we, cannot, we could not get the endoscope uh, past the tumor. And so we took the liberty, while we were getting ready to come live here, of going under fluoroscopic guidance. And uh, what we did then was passed a JAG wire, a hydrophilic coated wire. And if we come down, you'll see that the guide wire passed. There's the diaphragm. So we know we've passed through the luminal esophagus and into the gastric uh, corpus. And you can see how the, the, the wire will, will bend up. And so we're, if you just look for a moment, you can see the gastric bubble is distended there. And so we're very satisfied. We're in the right location. We haven't created a false track. And we've also taken the opportunity to place a little external marking right next to where that proximal X-ray, we, uh, X-ray, please. Yes, you can see the X-ray, oh, yes, please, oh, the X-ray. Do you see that now? No. X-ray image? X-ray image. I think it's just important to show if we can. Okay, well, if we can, so what we've done, you'll have to take my word yes, for okay, it. Okay, okay, there we are. So um, again, you can see we've placed a radiographic marking externally that gives us uh, an approximation of where the tumor proximal margin is. And we'll just come down with our fluoro. And again, you can see the wire has passed the diaphragm and is curled in the, in the stomach lumen. So we're very satisfied we have a good location here. Now, with the technique, and if you can just go fluoro off for a moment, uh, to the endoscopic view, if you can maximize that and maybe minimize the, uh, the uh, the uh, fluoroscopy view. All right, at this point, we're going to do what's called a continuous access technique. And so with the CRE balloon just at the distal tip of my scope, and maybe if you could come in on my hands, I'm going to grasp the, the catheter tip at, at the scope so that the catheter won't slide forward as it often has a, a tension to do. And now if we can go to the fluoroscopic image, and my assistant is going to begin to blow the balloon up. This is a 12, mil, 12 to 15 millimeter balloon. And so go ahead and uh, balloon up to 12, please. And so with this technique, since we have the guide wire, go ahead, inflate. Inflate. OK, and we have to hold tight so that it won't uh, pull the instrument forward. And bring the balloon up. We have it filled with contrast, you can see. And keep inflating, keep inflating. Inflating. That's the it. Width, the width. Up to 12. 12. 12. That's it. You can see a very tight area there, a waist in the center. That's good. OK, so we gradually increase. Now, once we've taken that balloon up to that dimension, we can advance the whole apparatus forward. And we can follow the balloon through the tumor into the stomach. Come down with the fluoro, please. That's it. Now, we want you to take the balloon down here, please. Take the balloon down. OK, that's it. And we'll, what we want to do, if we want to uh, just ensure our location, we can come down, please. OK, and we're, we're satisfied. We're below the diaphragm there. We could, if we want, if you want to be absolutely certain, to go ahead and, uh, and, and, and just hold that there, please. OK, now take, uh, take the guide wire out. 
And I want to just inject some contrast dye. Take it all the way out, floor off for a moment. Take the guy wire all the way out, and I want to inject X-ray dye. I want to inject dye through that same channel. This is a very uh, necrotic tumor. Okay, fluoro on, please. And inject the dye, please. Injecting. Okay, and you see the gastric folds fill, so that tells you where you are. That's fine. And you can flush that with water and just give me the guide wire back then through there. Maya? Yes, to show yes. the stomach. Yes. Be certain. He's not certain. Okay, and I need the wire back. It does take a little bit of time, but it's worth it. And as you can see, in this case, we've had to incrementally uh, dilate the stricture. It was a long stricture. But in the case when you have an obstructing tumor like this, it can be difficult to, uh, uh, to use uh, savory dilators because once you, even if you've uh, dilated it with the savories, you may not uh, be able to uh, reclaim the lumen if you develop a, a, uh, uh, a crack in the tumor along the way. This way, since we're placing a covered stent, even if we were to crack the tumor here, fluoro, please, we could uh, regain our access. Okay, so again, I'm going to hold the wire still, and or the, uh, the dilating catheter still, and I ask you to balloon up again to 12 millimeters, please. Okay. Okay, and Flora, and Smash. so we see the balloon coming up. Up, 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 good. That's good. We can bring it right up to here, okay. And we'll see if we can advance forward. Still too tight yet. So now take the balloon down. We have to dilate that last segment. Okay, balloon. And we'll follow this down with the endoscope, if we can. Okay, and balloon up. How many millimeters is the balloon? It's 12 millimeters. So you can see we're across the esophageal gastric junction here. That's it. As we come down. Okay. So now I want you to um, take the balloon down. Okay, now, what we want to do, this is very important, I still can't get my endoscope across, and I'll have to accept that. And what we're asked to do then is to, um, uh, we'll do an exchange, so we have to leave this guide wire in place. Okay? And so I want to fluoro, please. And come down. You can see we're well in the gastric bubble. Okay, and so we do an exchange, yes? So fluoro. And, and I just want to see the wire all the way down there. That's good. That's good. I think. Okay. So, advance the wire. Advance. 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 That's good. Can we come out? That's fine. Stop there, that's good. Just advance now, advance, advance, advance. Patient's doing okay from a vital sign wise? Yes. Advance, yes. advance, advance. I generally prefer to be able to pass my endoscope through so I know what my distal margin looks like, but we, we don't have that uh, luxury in this case, so we're not going to over, uh, over risk. Please keep advancing, that's it, advance. Advance, advance, you can see the wire's coming back a little bit, so that's it, that's it. Okay, we're out now, so you can take that back. Okay, now, so the distance here, uh, we're, we're uh, because we weren't able to get the endoscope all the way through, we have to make a guesstimate, and, and we have uh, a, a stent that we want to make sure will cross the lower esophageal sphincter. We know that the tumor extends to that degree, based on the, uh, our, our fluoroscopic imaging. Yes. Okay. And so we have a, I think, a 12-15? 12-15 uh, Yes. We have 12 and 15. 15. Yes, so I think in this case, we'll err on the side of the longer stent. No, and we'll, no. yeah, we'll take the 15. It okay. has a 12 centimeter um, coated segment, and the top of the tumor is only at 25 uh, centimeters. So we know that uh, in 15. order to, um, to get across to approximately uh, 
40 centimeters where it's an average, uh, would be average yes. EG junction would be, uh, we'll need that. So okay. at this point now we're going to backload the endoscope out, we'll leave the guide wire in place. So I'm doing that and if again, if you can watch my hands, just move that away from my arm. Okay, so what I'm doing is same with, with one hand on the shaft of the endoscope, I withdraw the scope as I pull the wire back. And now I maintain the wire here, we put a loop in for safety and we can go ahead and pull this all the way out. Pull, pull, pull. And large loops so we uh, don't contaminate. Okay, and go ahead and you'll backload that on. Now this is the proximal deployment system. So it is the, the system that uh, begins its deployment from the, from the, the, the endoscopist side as opposed to the inside the patient. I prefer this um, because I think it offers the best opportunity for precision placement. Okay, now we're out the back, so you can just pull, 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 Yalla, stop, okay, pull, 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 and stop. And I'll have some lubricant here, please. Do you do you Yeah, that's fine, just right along here. Ooh, right on my hand, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, that's good. Now, again, in the sort of the uh, sword swallower position, I'm going to keep my right hand on the guide wire and static, and the other hand is going to advance the the uh, the stent into place. And if you floor now, please. And so we see our first margin markings come across the uh, tumor there. Now we have a bit of uh, resistance. Patient's waking up a little bit too, which doesn't help. And so, can you come down lower, please? Down lower. Down lower. That's it. And let me see the guide wire distally, please. Okay. Yeah. Now, let me advance my wire into the stomach. We want to see. You can see again still the gastric. Uh, uh, markings. We've put a lot of air in the stomach, I think. I think. Pull back a little bit, please. And the only thing I'm, I'm a little concerned here is that, uh, 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 there we go. Okay. Yeah. Now, this position is, and his belly, let me feel. Soft, yes? Good. Soft, soft. Okay. All right, now come back to our marking, please. Okay. So, and come back. Where did our marking go? It fell off. Hence is the peril of the marking. Well, that's okay. That's good. Can, can the right brightness here. of fluoroscopy be reduced? Oh, there we go. That's okay. All right, so now we advance in further. Okay, and now we're at approximately the marking. So, at this point, I'd like to come back down with the endoscope, and we'll just confirm our margin. Not so important in this case, because we're clearly past where the... Uh, where the uh, area is, but worth showing, I think. Okay, and so right here, we're at the top of the tumor, Flora, please. And you'll have to come up. Okay, so, so we know we're in, in, in fine position here in terms of uh, the proximal margin of the stent will be above the tumor. And so with that, we can begin to deploy. Do you want to do so? Yeah. So go ahead and pull the string. Fluoroscopy is very bright. You cannot see anything. Okay, go ahead. Deploy. Deploy. Okay, now stop. Okay, keep deploying. And stop. There we are. Okay, so now this top portion has unfurled, and we can push in a little bit with the endoscope. Okay, and now let me see distally, please. All the way down, 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 down. That's fine. Okay, go ahead and deploy the rest of the way. Deploying, good, 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 good. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All the way, keep going. Long stent, long tumor. <laughs> That's it. That should be all the way deployed, yes? Yes, all the way out. Keep going. 
Pull, pull, pull. Come up a little bit. That's it. Good. Okay, that's fine. And now we can take out the introducer, which goes fine. Take that. And then uh, we look endoscopically. And this is fine here. We can begin to come down. It's so tight, you know, initially that we're not going to get all the way through, but perhaps we would just uh, squirt a little bit of x-ray dye just to demonstrate our location. And this will gradually open up, of course. And come down to the bottom, please. Yeah, just uh, here. Okay, and fluoro. Let me see down. And right into the stomach. Okay? Yes. You see the stomach fold? Well done. Thank you. Okay. That's good. That's it. We won't get through. Ever. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Show just the bottom part. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks a lot. Tough case, actually.